So, yeah, next, yeah, I set a timer. If you uh, exceed time, it's going to automatically start it. Okay, thank you. Next, I would like to invite uh, Martin Martinez. Uh, he's a Latino American worship leader. Yeah, Ma Martin, my friend, brother, it's your turn. God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much, Diane, Sandy, and every person in this room. I just, I just want to first and foremost uh, extend our love and gratitude to the Asian American community and Asians uh, here in the United States in general. You know, we're saddened by the news, uh, this horrific incident and hate, you know, against the Asian community. It's, uh, it, it dumps on me as I'm, I'm a pastor. <laughs> Uh, of a newly planted church in San Bernardino, and we are reaching uh, communities of all type, and that's the beauty of our community is that we are rich in Latinos and Asians and, and African Americans, and my entire being and, and my entire way of, of being a pastor is being inclusive. We want peace in our communities. We rally people. Um, I'm also part of the board of Hispanic Access Foundation. And, um, and through that, we work to create equity and, and, uh, and also inclusiveness uh, in all ethnicities and races. As well, through my friend Randy Levy, who's my brother, uh, we created a program where we can help with uh, immigrants. As a matter of fact, when this horrific incident happened, we were hosting Diane and myself and my brother uh, uh, Wayne, who I don't, I don't see here, Wayne Lee, who... Uh, whom uh, my sister Diana pinged in, uh, we were talking about immigrants, exploitations, and discrimination. And as immigrants and hearing the stories, you know, and hearing my sister Diana's story, it just breaks my heart that people can still be so ignorant and so cruel to other uh, ethnicities and races and creeds just because they believe differently or they look differently. And it, and it still breaks my heart that we can live in 2020 in a society that we like to think that, you know, we've evolved, that we've grown, but yet still see these things from narrow-minded individuals who absolutely need God. And, and that's what I'm here for today. I'm here to pray with you. I'm here to, sustain, to stand with you and to end and do what I can, even within the Latino community that can also be very prejudiced, even within the community of Latinos, uh, that we don't... Uh, you know that we, we we change and that we change ourselves and that we that we that we empower ourselves and empower our people empower our leaders empower those here i, I just literally this morning ended a meeting with senator alex, uh, alex uh, Badilla, who's a new senator of california and i'll be working with them and the committee for immigration as well so i would love to hear your input i would love to have your participation i would love to to invite you to take a, you know the seat on the table with me that we can do life together and help our communities help our people just live a, a, a life full of peace if COVID has taught us anything is that we've been faced with, with mortality and we need each other we definitely need each other and we need to spread love around because that's what matters the most again i'm pastor martin martinez and you wish to pray i'm here with you we can create a, a private room and then come back into the room and I would love to connect with all of you and just love on you and help you in any way that I can um, through my connections or contacts or immigration attorneys or whatever you need. Uh, if you feel people are being exploited or discriminated, I am here for you and I want to help you. Thank and you. I'm, we're family. So thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. We, we are family for sure. Yes.